All right, guys, today is about traveling and staying in your nutrition um, and a little twist to that. Let's get started. All right, so staying on your nutrition um, and then taking in consideration um, how long you're gone for and what you should be doing while you're traveling. So I'm going to give you an example about what I'm doing this time. I'm going to be gone for about 10 days. So I'm going to take this time to go back down to foundation work and go back down to where the bottom of my level is basically where I always want to try to come out from, but then drop back down to that way your body never adapts to that high peak training all year long because then you're just going to fatigue and run yourself down. So in this case, what I did is on the travel over, I basically stayed with a higher calorie intake of nutrition and that way even though I wasn't working out even though I was uh, the traveling from the United States over to Abu Dhabi was a full 24 hours for us 26 hours actually um, so I made sure to eat every two hours now doing that I know you can't take all your food on the plane because maybe some of it will spoil so for me um, Fighting some kind of protein bars or cookies and stuff. I do icon cookies. Um, so every two hours I'll try to get enough meal and then two hours later I'll get cookies in and go back and forth between that. But my calories are really, really high. They're so high actually that they're normally above what I normally take in if I'm training. Now the reason why, here's the thing. Uh, I'm giving my body an overload of food to kick in the metabolism. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is, that's incorrect. Everybody drops their food to try to kick it in or they, or they fast or go away from food. That for me is short term. What I'm thinking about is the long term effects. And so what I want to do is I always want to try to keep my calories as high as possible. So I can always break them down, break them down, break them down and get in incredible shape. Now, the problem with going the other way for me and in the long haul is this. If you're always going away from food, if you're always starving your body to try to kick in the metabolism, uh, both work, not saying they don't, um, but the one is short term. Um, and when you're trying to take in low calories and then later on go up to higher calories, anything you put in is going to slow down the metabolism instead of kick it up in a sense because of the fact that you've already starving your body. And when you starve your body most of the year, like most people do, you slow down your metabolism relative that I'm forcing it to utilize the calories. I'm forcing it to take in more calories. And for the longer period of time, and listen, again, when I'm talking about longer period of time, I'm talking six months, a year, stuff that you can be able to maintain. If you're always starving yourself, you can't maintain that. And sooner or later, you're gonna cave mentally, physically, um, so what I want you guys to do is try to relax when you're going on vacation, try to mentally relax and go, okay, it's going to be all right. Let's have fun with this. Let's take in a little bit more calories. Let the body recover and really utilize those calories instead of starving it. So again, I go with icon cookies, anything like that would be great. Um, pack your proteins. Uh, something else we did was a lot of beef jerky on the trip over. Um, and then Obviously the plane has some food, but try to request your protein meals if you're on there. Um, they'll always give you carbs, so don't worry about that. And that is kind of what I'm doing on the trip too, is um, I don't take a lot of vitamins when I travel. Uh, so I'll do my fat burners, I'm a green tea guy, and I'll take some nuts uh, periodically throughout the whole day on the travels over. Um, and that's what I'm really basically doing on the trips over and on the trip back. So I really get to the hotel. And again, something you guys might not think about is this, when you travel, you're already stressing out your body. And so this is a great way to build up that immune system. You're feeding it, it's, it's filled, um, and you're healthy. When you get there, you get to the good sleep. We are up, we are ready to go today. Get right back on your normal uh, meal plan and uh, get right to it. A lot of water too. If I left that out, sorry. Um, and take pictures of your loved ones, obviously. <laughs> That's it, just a little little tidbit for you guys to make sure that try not running away from food, try to run to it, use it. Um, 
because you can always back down when you're getting to the training and get better. If you're always trying to add in and going the other way, um, I've just seen too many careers end short. I want you guys to be able to do this for a lifetime. That's the point of this, right? I don't want you jacked for a day. I want you jacked for a lifetime.